Hello everyone. I am Swapnil Lashtekar here to present a topic on addressing used in TCP IP model. Before starting with the actual addressing used in TCP IP model, let's do a revision of a OSM model. As we know that OSM model is being made of seven layers starting from physical layer. The function of the physical layer is to transmit bits over a medium to provide a mechanical and electrical specifications. After physical layer there is a data link layer which deals with organizing the bits into frames and to provide hop to hop delivery. The third layer is nothing but the network layer. The function of the network layer is to move the packets from the source to destination which deals with actually routing called as internet working. The transport layer which deals with reliable process to process delivery and error recovery. The next layer is nothing but the session layer which deals with establishment, management and terminating the sessions. After session layer, there is something called as a presentation layer which deals with translating encryption and compression of data. After presentation layer, there is something called as an application layer which allows the access to the network resources. Now let's talk about what is TCP IP model. TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol and Internet Protocol. Why it is being called so? The reason is the TCP protocol and IP protocol is being used in this reference model. How TCP IP reference model is different from OSM model we will understand from this diagram. If you look carefully, this is an OSM model and this right side indicates TCP IP model. The layers associated are some or the other way same. Over here 7 layers are being used while over here 5 layers are being used. The bottom most layers are mapping to each other, the same function. But if you look carefully at the uppermost layer, the session, presentation and application layer is being mapped into a application layer. So this is TCP IP protocol suite. Now let's understand what are the addresses associated with each layer. Data link layer deals with frames. Network layer deals with datagram or it is also called as a packet. Transport layer deals with segment and the application deals with message. The physical address is associated with data link layer. The logical address is associated with network layer, while the port address is associated with transport layer. Let's first talk about the physical address. The physical address, also known as link address or a MAC address, is the address of a node as defined by its LAN or WAN network. It is included in the frame used by the data link layer. Ethernet uses 6 byte which is 48 bit physical address that is imprinted on an IC card that is network interface card. So here there is an example of physical address which is of 48 bits. Next is the logical address. Logical address are necessary for universal communication that are independent of physical networks. Physical address are not adequate in inter network environment. Logical address in the internet is currently a 32 WAN address that can uniquely define as a host connected to the internet. What is important thing to understand is the physical address will change from hop to hop that is from one device to another. But the logical address will remain the same. Hence there is a need of a logical address. The example may be IP address which may be of 32 bit for IPv4 and 128 bit for IPv6. Next is nothing but the port address. Today computers are the devices that can multiple process at a time. 
then objective of IP is process communication with another process. For this process to receive data assignments, we need a method called a different processes. In other words, they need the addresses. In TCP IP architecture, the label assigned to a process is called as a boot address. Here is an example of boot address which is of 16 bit. So here we discuss about different addresses such as physical, logical and port addresses associated with each layer. Thank you.